Eighteen. Schematic diagram of a generator is given. A. Which type of generator is this? AC or DC? Answer. AC. B. Name the part of this generator marked as one, two, three, four. Answer. One. Field magnet. Two. Armature coil. Three. Spit ring. Four. Brushes. C. State the working principle of this device. Answer. Electromagnetic induction. Whenever there is a change in the magnetic flux linked with a coil, an EMF is induced in the coil. 19. Analysis the figure. An object is placed between F and 2F of a convex length. A. Copy the diagram and complete to show the image formation. Answer. B. Write any two features of the image formed here. Answer. Real, inverted, enlarged. Write any two. C. Where must the object be placed to get a real image of same size as that of the object? Answer. Object should be placed at 2F in front of the lens. 20. What is meant by the term energy crisis? Answer. Energy crisis is the consequence of increasing demand but decreasing availability. B. Write any two reasons for energy crisis. Suggest two methods to minimize it. Answer. Wastage of energy, industrialization, population growth. Write any two crises. Maximum utilization of solar energy, minimizing the wastage of water, making use of public transport. Write any two methods. 21. An incandescent lamp bears the marking 200 volt, 100 watt. A. What does 100 watt indicate? Answer. 100 watt indicate the maximum power of a bulb when it is used at 200 volt supply. B. What is the resistance of its filament? Answer. Resistance is equal to voltage square by power. 200 square by 100. Answer. 400 ohm. C. Write an advantage of LED lamp over incandescent lamp. Answer. As there is no filament, there is no loss of energy in the form of heat. Since there is no mercury in it, it is not harmful to environment. 22. Observe the circuit of household electrification. A. Which device is used to measure the electric energy consumed in household circuit? Answer. Watt hour meter. B. Write any two advantages of connecting the device in parallel in household circuit. We can control each device individually by using switches. Device will work according to their marked power. Any damage to one device will not affect the entire circuit. Write any two. C. Write the function of ELCB. Answer. ELCB helps to break the circuit automatically whenever there is a current leak due to insulation failure. 23. Light rays entering into air from glass is depicted below. Observe the figures and answer the given questions. A. What is the critical angle of glass here? Answer. 42 degree. B. Which figure represent total internal reflection? Answer. Figure C. C. Explain total internal reflection. Answer. When a ray of light passes from a medium of higher optical density to lower optical density at an angle of incidence greater than the critical angle, the ray is reflected back to the same medium without undergoing refraction. This phenomenon is known as total internal reflection. D. Write any two instances that make use of total internal reflection. Answer. Used in medical field, endoscope, used in telecommunication, optic fiber cables. 24. Observe the given circuits. A. Calculate the resultant resistance in circuit A and circuit B. Answer. Resultant resistance in figure A. R parallel is equal to R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 is equal to 6 into 6 divided by 6 plus 6 is equal to 36 divided by 12 answer 3 ohm resultant resistor in figure b r series is equal to r1 plus r2 is equal to 6 plus 6 12 ohm b what is the intensity of electric current in circuit a 
answer current in circuit a i is equal to voltage by r parallel is equal to 12 by 3 is equal to 4 ampere c calculate the heat energy produced in circuit b if current flows for 30 minutes answer heat energy h is equal to v square into t by r is equal to 12 square into 13 into 60 divided by 12 is equal to 12 into 13 into 16 equal to 21600 joule is equal to 21.6 kilojoule